Hello and welcome to a new monthly series. These are own, my own personal choices. It's no reflection on other people I haven't picked. It's just my own personal choice. And these are also what I personally found in this month. They may have been made a month ago, but I never found them. So this is what I found this month and I thought was worthy of my top five. We count down, obviously, starting at five. So let's begin. At five, Spellbinder by K. Muffy. I first came upon this when it was simply one small area, which is the dungeon area. And the reason it's in my selection of the top five is just the environment. The potential is huge and you can see a little further into this video that this person intends to expand. What sort of gameplay is in this environment I couldn't tell you. All I know it was fantastic. The atmosphere is incredible. Everything is stitched together in such an immaculate way that it had to be in my top five wonderful stuff And number four, we have Sunken City by A Brain. The reason this is here is graphically it's faultless. It's faultless. Gameplay, a little touch here and there, and it would be perfection. But this is here purely and simply because, for my mind, you may not agree, this is PSN worthy. You would quite happily, if you saw that on PSN, you would never even think it was a dreams game. It's tight. It's Nintendo-esque. It's cute. It's great. It had to make its way into my top five. So, yeah, incredible. It was a tough fight for the top three, to be honest. This is perfection. 
for what it's accomplishing this is perfection the scenery the character the motive for playing the story behind it and the music are all selected that perfectly just perfectly this is an immaculate game immaculate I would have liked it to have been a little longer but it's still well worth playing and it had to be in my top five I didn't know where to put this the top three is a hard Ford battle as far as I'm concerned I mulled over it for a long time but if it's on the top five it's good anyway so yeah this had to be in it fantastic fantastic This is here, has to be here. Everybody knows I like Slim McKenzie, one of my favourite creators of all time. And I've one thing I always asked, please make a full game from start to finish. And here we are. Atmosphere, sound effects, gameplay, locations, absolutely fantastic incredible it's a game that everyone should play not just somebody who is a player but somebody who's a creator how to create atmosphere just like the last game is another example all of these are examples of just how to do it this is how you do it folks this is fantastic wonderful wonderful And this is why the battle was hard fought between the top three. The last two are fully fledged games and they have atmosphere. Whilst this is basically walking, there's, there's a, a religious deference to this there's a sense of dignity and space of reverence it's a perfect match of imagery and music and the lighting is just off off the scale it's fantastic 
So whilst it's not a fully fledged game, to me it speaks to me. It speaks to the explorer. It speaks to my, to sound pretentious, soul. So yeah, this is my number one choice. But they're all so, so close. They're a wafer thin between each one. And I thought about it long and hard and I just had to make this number one. I had to. It connected women me, me emotionally more than any of the other games. Just it just does. It's it's a light but beautiful touch. Well done. Well done. Thank you to these five creators and thank you to everyone who contributes towards the Dreams community in any shape or form. You're the reason I bought this game and you're the reason I made this channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.